a mess Why don't you do right and quit trying to fight Every time we get distressed Your sugar daddy and your money well Ain't gonna treat you right You better do something baby whether wrong or right Cause baby tonight's the night It's a wonderful game and it happens every day Oh why, oh why did you pick on me And make things happen this way You got stars in one eye and lies in the other Now which am I gonna believe You better do something baby whether wrong or right Oh baby tonight's the night Every day Oh why, oh why did you pick on me I make things happen this way You got stars in one eyes And lies in the other Now which am I gonna believe You better do something baby Whether wrong or right Or baby too nice tonight Subscriber request from Stian in Norway. Uh, Baby Blue Eyes by the Johnny Burnett Trio, one of my all time favourites. Uh, this was track three, side two of the fantastic Johnny Burnett Trio album, uh, which I think came out in 10 inch format in 1956. Uh, this was written by the band themselves. They wrote most of the songs on the album. Uh, it just shows you how talented they were. And like all my favourite songs, it's got less than three chords, mainly one chord in fact. Written in the key of E, with a little bit of B7 in there just to f sort of add a bit of variation. I'm going to show you the main solos now and I'm going to show you the rhythm parts. Okay, the introduction solo goes like this. So the first phrase slowly goes like this. So we're just playing 12s and 15s in the top two strings. Then we go down to 14 on the D and play 12s on the B and G. So let's play that whole thing. Back to 14 on the D, then go down to 9 and 11 on the D, 9 and 11 on the G, bend that 11, back to 9, 11, 9 on the D. So that's 9 on the G, 11, 9 on the D, and 9 on the G. So let's play that whole thing. And the next phrase goes like this. Which is just double stops on the 9 on the B and G and 12 on the B and G. Then we're going to play a uh, 5 on the B, 3's on the B and open on the B but also playing the top E open. So let's play that whole bit. And then we're going to play 2-5, two, 2-5-2 five, two, five, two on the D. 
and then open three three two two open on the bottom E. Okay, the main solo goes like this. So it's happening, uh, we're going to play double stops again on the 12th on the top two strings. Pick that uh, one, two, three, three times. Then play 15 and 15 on the top two and slide them down. Twelve, fifteen. Let's just play that first phrase. One, two, three, four, maybe four. Then play 14 on the D and 12 and 12 on the B and G. Fourteen, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, twelve, fourteen on the D. Let's play that whole first phrase. to 15 on the top two strings, 12 on the top two strings, 12 on the B and G, 14 on the D. Then we're going to play 11 on the B and G and bend it, then 14 on the D, 11 on the D. Play 11s and 13s on the G, 14 on the D, 11 on the G, 13 on the G, 11, 13, 14, 11 on the D. I don't know what that phrase is, it sounds like Woody Woodpecker or something. Like that. And we're going to play 9 and 12s on the B and G. Bend that 12. Play 12 on the D. So it's 9 and 12 on the B and G, just going to 12 on the D at the end. Just do that slowly. And then it just finishes off with 8s on the B and open E. Fives on the B and then three and open on, on the B. Two five two on the D. Let's play that bit. And then play open on the E. Bend that three. Two, open three, oh three, two, open. Try the whole solo.
Okay, the final solo is quite long. I'm going to play it slowly. Um, it starts off on the 12th fret. I'll just do a little demo and then I'll break it down. Okay, so what's happening, we start off on the 12th fret on the E, and we slide down. And then play an open E. So two 12s and an open. And you put 5 on the B when you play the open. We'll come up to double stops on the B and G, play 9 on the B and G. And slide off. And we go 9 and 12 on the B, 12 and 12 on the top E, back to 9 and 9 on the B and G. I'm going to play that Woody Woodpecker riff again, which is 14 on the D, and then 11 on the G, 13, 11, 14 on the D, 11 and 13 on the G. 14 11 on the D. Then 9 and 12s on the B and G. Okay, the next phrase has got 15s on the top two strings. Then 12. Then play 15, 14, 12 on the B and G. 14 on the D. Then 15, 14, 12 on the B and G, 14 on the D, and then we're going to go to 11s on the B and G, 12 on the B and G, 14 on the D. Then 9 on the B and G, and 12 on the B and G. Then 5 on the B, open E, 3 on the B, open E, open E, B, then 2 on the G, 3 on the G, back down to 2, open, 2 on the D. Open on the E, three on the E, two, open, three, four, two on the A, two on the D, four on the A, two on the A. Okay, let's try the whole solo. Okay folks, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I forgot to say of course that the lead guitarist on that track was the fabulous Grady Martin. Uh, his guitar style is uh, very distinctive and uh, very influential I think. Uh, I suspect Brian Setzer probably listened to uh, Johnny Burnett too a bit back in the day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more rock and roll. We've got more rock and roll coming out every week. We do at least one video a week. We'll try and get two up if we can. Uh, just always time permitting, but uh, appreciate the support. Please keep rocking and we'll see you next time.